Just like all the other products on the Jetris Images range, Hurricane operates under the same multi-layer philosophy. But the immense power of Hurricane stems from the totally new concept of the hardware layers themselves, layers which we have christened DVE layers, thus giving rise to a brand new multi-DVE layer philosophy. Each DVE layer is considered as an independent DVE, capable of creating in real-time subpixel any kind of deformation under the control of brand new DVE animation and compositing modules. Thus Jetris Images offers the possibility of animating 3D effects such as rotations, perspectives, corner pinning, water effects, non-linear morphing, all of which are executed in real time. Now we will take you through the Hurricane demonstration step by step for you to appreciate the power of this multi-DVE layer graphics suite. Hurricane's easy to use menu is visible here on the right or on the left of the screen and is made up of small icons which are easy to understand. Each DV layer in this image is independent. The logo can be considered as one element, the monkey as another, and finally the background. As you can see here, all of the different layers can be viewed in miniature simultaneously and we can play with their priority in order to give a different look to the image. Here, the logo is behind the monkey and then it can be replaced in front. The Paint and Effects module of Hurricane is indeed incredibly powerful. Each icon comprises of a submenu which lists the creation possibilities such as brush, filter, smear and the airbrush which exists in an infinite number of different sizes and can be employed with or without transparency at an incredible speed. The fill function when associated with macro commands allows you to rapidly create animated sequences or cartoons. The first step consists in saving the paper drawing in black and white and recover it on a layer. A colorization function enables one to extract only the black values, the white being replaced by the key, as witnessed here by the blue color. All that is left on the screen is the outline of the drawing. The advantage of working with multi-layers is that you have the possibility of grouping the cells on one layer, which gives you an idea of the movement of the cartoon character. Within a specific palette, each colour for each object within every element can be saved. First of all, we consider how many colours will be needed. Then, by using the cursor, we can save these colours and give a name to the file. We can then see this file appear in the principal menu. And then, quite easily, to fill the zones of our drawing, we simply click on them and the zones are filled automatically with full anti-aliasing. The macro function enables you to optimize all of these actions. All of the actions are saved in the form of a script, which is applied to each cell automatically. With the macro, the drawing is coloured. And then we can apply a background. The drawing is positioned on the screen. A reflection appears on the floor and a shadow is associated. Since we are working on independent layers, each object remains independent, just like in traditional cartoon creation. The result is recorded on Jetris Images' 10-second ramcorder, which we call Aramis. The chroma key enables you to select one or several colours which you wish to erase. 
The blue color is saved in memory, and by using a rectangle, we can type a text on top of the image, for example. If you find the key satisfactory, we can apply it to the whole live sequence. Note also that we can add a variable degree of filter to the image. Once the mask has been created, we can then change the colour or the look of the background. The shadow is also entirely independent and can be varied in transparency. And now that the chroma key has been applied to the whole sequence, we can add on some still or even moving elements. So, you want to save on long distance? What a pain. Restrictions on times of day, area codes, calling circles, and there's no guarantee you'll save. Except with the most. Mm. It's like a billion megabyte brain at Sprint. It figures out who you call the most and guarantees you savings every month. One month, your best friend in Alaska. Next month, your new best friend in Lahaina. Isn't that wonderful? Now get $50 free long distance with the most. Only from Sprint. The DVE Composer module permits the real-time animation of various graphic elements or video. Here we will first display two fixed elements on the screen, which we will position in such a way as to give a cogwheel impression. At the end of the storyboard, we shall give a rotation factor to each element. As you can see, the objects begin to revolve in real time. We can also add other wheels which have been created in the same manner on other layers. Should one wish to display the cogwheels inside the face, you simply have to associate them to a key image, this concentric circle. and thus the whole animation can be seen inside the key. Nothing is definite in an animation. Without even having to re-edit the animation, we can modify any element in real time. For example, in order to replace one image by another, we just need to go into the image library and call up two clock hands to replace the cogwheels and position them on the screen. We can then give each of them a rotation factor. And then make a zoom to change them smoothly. The same goes for the background should we wish to change it. We can replace it by another sequence, since each element remains independent with its own characteristics in terms of transparency, movement, colour and so on.
Hurricane has the great advantage of managing 3D priorities in an automatic fashion. In relation to the position of each object in a given space, it will either be behind or in front of the other elements. For example, here we shall give a rotation factor in Y to two objects, the boy on the right and the girl on the left. If we ask for one full rotation, the system automatically manages the priorities and brings the children either in front or behind the cogwheels. For the final part of the animation, we will bring up a live sequence and its key on a layer. The pass from one sequence to another goes through a frosted effect, and then we can add a picture frame to the rear layer. In order for the video to move into it, the zoom will allow us to define the scale required for the video to fit into the frame. And finally, we can move it behind in order to have it inside the television. Then just to finish off, we can add some simple graphic elements such as text. You've been traveling all day since the job got done Pin like an arrow for the setting sun Another day to go before you ease the load And the nearest cold draft A thousand K down the road So you check the uh, accommodation Open the bar, there's water on tap Wouldn't it be good to be home right now? See the mates, have a beer, have a chat but then you hear a whistle. Geez, that sounds like Steve-O. Nah. What would your mates be doing out here? Bringing you a West End draft? Yeah! It's the best end of the day. It's the worst end of the day. Yeah, a hard day's draft comes a first in half. When your mates drop in, have a beer, have a grin. Cause the best end of the day. In the beer advertisement for a draft, the first step in production was to modify the live background. In fact, the customer wanted to add clouds, sun and colour to the initial sequence. The sun is an independent object, so we can change the priorities and bring it to the front. We can then modify its transparency in order to make the colour more intense and then position it on the screen. On a different layer, we can add the sky and the colour. The colour can be changed very quickly, simply by calling up different shades from the memory. Blue, purple, white, and so on. Whenever there's a mistake, we can come back and modify the result immediately. For this sequence, we shall use the DVE layers in order to compose two live sequences coming from the RMS together. The original sequence only consisted of the man on the blue background. Thanks to the chroma key, the colours have been erased and replaced by the key. We can then associate the clouds to another layer, which we shall pick from the library. Then on a rear layer, we can add the live sequence. By means of the zoom and the trajectory, we can position the sequence behind the man and then have the sequence rotate.
And to finish, we can add some defocus to the live image in order to vary its look. As with the other examples we have seen up until now, any of the parameters can be modified. Here we are changing the sky, or even the text on the billboard. Each of the sequences of this advertisement are built in the same manner by putting a key on a live sequence, adding another live sequence, and positioning it. Then we can add colour to the sky and finally the man at the top of the screen. Each element can be moved as we wish. The DVE layer works under subpixel precision, which means that any movements are made smoothly with the very best image quality. Now we will add different graphic elements on each layer. The building is on one layer and the monkey on another. And then the shadow on another. Should we wish to see the monkey in the background, we simply change the priorities to have the building in the front. Now we'll add the logo. The high quality zoom enables you to enlarge in the image by 20 times. Then the defocus gives a smooth border. Here we have added a zoom at the beginning and at the end of the timeline and we will see the system interpolate between the two in real time. As you can see, the result is quite startling. And of course, any changes can be made at any time. Each movement, such as a rotation, is managed in the same fashion by a method of keyframes. Here in Y, then in Z, And finally, we have applied deceleration towards the end.
This sequence perfectly illustrates the mixing possibilities as applied to real and cartoon style images. We can recover a live sequence from the Aramis and put the breakfast bowl on another layer. As you can see, the bowl is an independent element, as is its shadow, and we can reposition them as we wish. In the same way, we can add the monkey, which is also independent. And then the logo, which as you can see here, can be moved in real time over the screen with zoom, rotation and so on. Yet again, any mistakes can be rectified immediately. Of course, this demonstration can only offer a brief insight into the possibilities offered by the Hurricane Line, our main objective being to demonstrate the incredible power held within the association of multilayering and the DVE layers. There only remains to add that just like the other products on the Jetris Images range, the Hurricane Line remains modular and adaptable to your specific needs. Hurricane can be upgraded and hence rendered even more performant with the addition of a wide array of optional modules. Therefore, please do not hesitate to ask our commercial executives or resellers for details and advice.